Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, I've been doing something kind of what I've never done before. I did buttermilk pie before, but not this particular recipe. I had a neighbor of mine that wants to take buttermilk pie for her church on Sunday. She asked what I do one for her, cook one for her, and see, but she can't never get it right. And she gave me the recipe. It's an old school recipe. It's similar to mine, but the directions are a little bit different. And she said it's welcome to share it on YouTube and all that. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share it with y'all and see if it's better than mine. Because mine, you just put melted butter and all that into the uh, bowl and mix it together. This, you cream the butter and sugar and add the egg one. Into. So I'm going to see if the procedure is going to change the texture of the buttermilk pie. Of course, I'm making two. Or one for her to take the church and then one me to sample. So hold on, y'all. Just a second. I got to get my hand mixer. Hold on one second. All right, y'all. We are back here. All right, y'all. I got my hand mixer here. But like I was saying, this procedure is a little bit different than mine. So we still got all pretty much the same ingredient. I got salted butter here. The recipe going to say unsalted butter. Add salt. If you, if you add salt, make sure you unsalted butter. I always use salted butter, so I don't put salt in the recipe. So if I accidentally put salt in the recipe and unsalted butter, you'll see what I mean. Like, I didn't see you had no salt because I'm using salted butter. Just to clarify that. Because I'm going to copy and paste the recipe that she sent it to me. And I might forget to add, uh, uh, edit the, uh, the butter correctly. So I got butter, sugar, vanilla, eggs, flour, and of course, I use whole buttermilk. Now, I'm doubling this recipe. Y'all gonna see, oh, he has a lot of stuff. Because I'm doubling the recipe, y'all. That's why you see a lot of items and more than what is gonna be in your recipe. So, just letting you know. So, we're gonna add the sugar and the butter. We're gonna cream this bad boy together. So, I'm gonna use the hand mix. Of course, you can use your, you can use your uh, stand mix as well, but I'm gonna do it the old school way. So I'm gonna almost clean this till it get creamed together really, really good. And we're gonna come back. We're gonna add the egg slowly. And then we'll go from there. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we're back. All right, y'all. Now we're gonna add the eggs one at a time, according to the recipe. Like making a cake, kind of. Oh, I had some two at a time. I messed it up. I had it too many eggs. y'all on my recipe I just dump everything in the bowl and go from there and pray and hope it come out which it does most of the time but this uh, has a method to the madness okay now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients buttermilk get all that in there the vanilla of course, the flour. And we're going to mix all this up together, y'all.
this up in here together. Get all those things off the bottom that might then catch. That's it. That's all she wrote, y'all. Now, I got my pie crust here. Y'all know I pour bake my pie crust for five minutes before I put it in the well, I put, add my filling to it. I've always did that with all my pies, y'all. Even pecan pies. It's gonna feel this bad. This is a deep dish, nine inch pie crust, y'all. It's gonna be a big old pie. Look at that. It's gonna be a big old buttermilk pie in it. Didn't get it all in there, but you're gonna make a mess here. Hope it don't overfill. There we go. Now, according to her recipe, 300 degrees for an hour and 10 minutes. Of course, I'm going to check it about, about 45 minutes. I'm going to give it a peek and see how it is. But other than that, we'll be back when these pies are made. Old school Bella Monk pies, a new way. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. The pies just come out the oven. They took exactly 60 minutes, one hour. Perfectly firm inside. Got that slight little jiggle, which buttermilk pie is supposed to have. But hey, on the outside, they looking good, y'all. So according to the recipe, you need to, which I know this, I do this with mine. Gotta cool these bad boys completely. Completely cold before I eat my buttermilk pie. I like my buttermilk pie ice cold. And that's what I'm going to do with these before I slice them up. So, anyway, uh, like I say, I'll be back in about, later on, maybe about four, five, six hours. I'll have it sliced up, and we'll see if it's good enough for church folks. But like I say, my neighbor, she want to take one to church. I'm trying to pick the nicest one, which one I'm going to cut and which one I'm going to give to her. I'll figure it out here pretty soon. They both look good. So... Anyway, I will be back. Old school butternut pie. Butternut pie. Old school butternut pie. New recipe. Never made it like this. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. All right, y'all. I'm feeling good about this, y'all. I'm feeling good about this pie. Look at this here, y'all. Look at that pie. Look at that. I'm, I'm hey, hey, looking good to me so far. Look at that. Look at the feeling. It took, like I say, it took exactly an hour to make this. A different process than I do mine. Like I said, I use melted butter in mine. I don't cream the butter and sugar and all that together and add the egg slowly. But hey, it might make a difference. Hey, you never know. Anyway, <coughs> I'm getting choked up here, y'all. Thinking how good this could be. Look at that. <coughs> Focus there, focus. All right, y'all, going in. Wow, y'all, that's so good. This is good, y'all. This is the, hey. I think I found a new way to make my bottom up high, y'all. Seriously. Mm. I'm going to start making mine from now on this way. Because the difference is, sometimes when I make it, every once in a while, when I make it my way, old recipe, when I just pour everything in there, it'll kind of separate sometimes. But if you see this pie, it doesn't separate. You know how it's creamy in there? Sometimes mine will separate sometimes. I guess because I don't cream the butter and sugar, so... She say this is the old recipe she used to have. So my neighbor, hey, you watching this video? Of course, you'll know later. This the one she gonna take to church. And I'm gonna finish this and all personally. But yeah, I would, I could eat this old pie, but I gotta have dinner first, y'all. And this gonna be my dessert tonight for dinner. So I don't wanna eat it all up. If we, I could finish this whole slice of pie, y'all. So this is gonna be my new and improved. I told her I'm going to put the recipe online. 
new and improved buttermilk pie. I don't know how I'm gonna name this, but this is good. This is a real deal. It didn't separate. It take a little bit longer than mine, but yay. Yeah, filled it all the way up. Thought I overfilled it, but I didn't. It just sits right there. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, 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 TikTok, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2024? Start wishing, start doing. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all.